Hello everyone and welcome back to my Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Ups Let's Play. The last time we uh kind of fought K and the Death Knight and um recruited Baradetta. And um yes I'm still sick. Uh that's why I still sound like that. And um Yeah. Let's just continue on. As did I. Who knew the Ashen Demon had that kind of strength? I did, technically. Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. Of course it is. What am I even up against here? It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm, that would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this fight. I know you can. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. Sure. You know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years from now at this rate. We should probably think of a backup plan. Besides, Dimitri said they might even be working for the kingdom before long. We can't count on being rivals forever. What a shocking turn of events! You'd seriously consider accepting that fiend as one of your allies? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better off with them than we are against them. If that's really how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. So maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just yet. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals. Oh, uh, do you? <sighs> yeah, come on, Astrang, let's go. Also, I don't know, but did I... Didn't in the last round, uh... Yeah, no. Freaking, um... Like, Phoenix suggests... This... Grown a lot. Like, uh... Going after the Ashen Demon. Or did I remember that wrong? Can't I'm sorry, I'm so... I can't. Uh, I, it's fine. <laughs> I can do even better. Usually I just skip through this a lot. So Got to give this a try sometime. Indeed. I'm a better man now than I was five minutes ago. You are so vain. Got some money, that's good. Yes, you can see I'm a little bit short on cash. But honestly it's not too bad. Also hi brother that up. It's not too bad since um a glove does not defy the hand, and yet you've done just that. How rude of calling her a glove. But like, uh, as you have seen, I was like 8 levels under the um, recommended level and I still got my S rank. Because I have like OP weapons and classes, so I think I should be fine if I just only like push my units up a little bit. I don't need that much. I feel like, especially if I get like more... Um, like bigger war maps and I have more missions and, and I can train my units a little bit more naturally since they they definitely have more enemies on harder difficulties which makes one leveling up easier and two getting the S rank easier <laughs> so that's nice so this is my name yet I am also called the beginning or Morgana I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fodlin home where am I I am not here to answer all you ask, yet I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. That does not if you so wish, help at all. Then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? Uh, that sounds kind of creepy if I say it like that. You should not have interfered. I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke. Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. 
It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Exactly that last sentence was the opposite of plain. Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. Poor Kay. You sure called her lazy right? bones. You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! Ugh. What's wrong? Nothing. Wait, didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. I remember we had some kind of cutscene the last time, but I don't remember if it's the same or not. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes too. How that happened is beyond me. Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around, get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. This isn't an enemy we can beat if we're not at full strength. We're not just up against the kingdom here. They've got the church on their side too, and the Knights of Saros. This will be a trying battle indeed, but I will follow you to the ends of the earth if I must, Captain. Even in the face of my own former colleagues, I won't pull a single punch. Thanks, Alois. I know it won't be easy, but the Empire's shoving a lot of gold in our pockets for this. We've got to deliver on our end of the deal, even if it means taking on the Knights of Saros to do it. You look troubled, Gerald. Is something wrong? Uh, can't hide anything from you, can I? Nope. It's just I have history with someone from the church. And I'd rather keep it as history if I can. I don't want anything to do with them, not as enemy or ally. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, indeed. You're really going back to Ferdiad? After all it took to get to this point? I will only be gone for a short while. A month at most, perhaps. I don't understand. What could possibly demand your presence in the capital so urgently? Is there something big going down in Ferdiad? I can't imagine things have gotten too out of hand with my father there to hold the line. Explain to them, Bor. This is a threat only us northerners understand. Very well. A group of soldiers from the Srang region has broken through the defenses in Gautier territory and makes for the capital. According to reports, Duke Yvonne herself rode out to intercept them, but was overwhelmed and subsequently captured. All contact from Margrave Gautier has ceased as well. So we've no way of confirming any of this. What? This is horrible. You can say that again. There's no chance of mounting a war effort when your capital's been ransacked. To be honest, I can't imagine my old man going down that easy. It's still true that we've lost contact with him, though. Something's definitely happening here. This is quite an alarming revelation indeed. Not only has the church made the northern town of Camulus its new base of operations, but many of our members have been traveling to Ferdiad on a regular basis. Srang? That's the peninsula north of Farkas, yes? Yeah, but as far as I can remember, they've always been peaceful. Peaceful? Hardly. You show even the slightest hint of weakness, and they'll sink their teeth into you without so much as a second thought. The Srang region borders the northeast side of our kingdom. It's a harsh land, blanketed in snow from the outset of the year to its dying days. I can only assume they seek fertile ground, and in doing so, the means for their survival. Shame. We could have negotiated had they not been so intent on pillaging. As it stands, I'll be returning to the north to lead a force meant to repel them. With both the Margrave and Duke Ivan missing in action, the matter is gravely serious. His Majesty has no choice but to get personally involved. If it's really that bad, wouldn't it be better if we tagged along? You'll need backup if the fight's gonna be as tough as you're making it out to be. You cannot deny that, Dimitri. This matter concerns us as well. We would be remiss not to offer our assistance. I appreciate the offer, truly. But we need to maintain a robust force here as well. 
You're one of the key figures in this army now. Look after Aryan Road for me. We have struck a blow to the Empire's forces. But it is only a matter of time until they hit back. To do, Rodrigue? The two of you will ride with me. A few dozen knights will be joining us as well. Yes, Your Majesty. It's still entirely possible that the Margrave's envoy was somehow delayed. That nothing is in fact amiss. Sylvain, I'd like you to await them here in Orion Road, just in case. Got it. Stay safe out there, Your Majesty. As for you, Duke Fraldarius, I leave command of the army to you in my stead. If the envoy does arrive, well, the appropriate course of action will be in your hands. Just remember, the soldiers stationed here are not mere soldiers. They're kingdom citizens. And as such, we have a duty to protect every last one of them. Indeed. If they're lost, I will have nothing left. Save hollow prayers for the dead. <laughs> Fine, then. Please, don't look at me like that. I know this burden is a heavy one, but I suspect you will lead them better than I. Now then, I expect you all to keep word of my leaving between ourselves. It would not do to have that information fall into the Empire's hands. Okay. Wait, so is he like, actually, actually leaving? That I can't play as him? Azure Gleam. The King Awakens. Ooh. The kingdom's assault on the former Arendelle territory proves successful, but the wind carries dire word of invasion from Srang in the north. Having lost contact with Margrave Gautier, Dimitri departs Arian Road and makes for the capital, Ferdia. He fears he may be walking into a trap, yet he marches on all the same. Interesting now that they don't have um And you're sure. Now that they don't have Casper's father who can just do everything, they actually have to split up the main cast, huh? <laughs> Very. The Srang people did indeed attack, but they never broke through Gautier territory. Meaning the Margrave is unharmed. Why then was our contact cut off? It's possible someone within the kingdom is interfering. The Margrave suspected as much when his initial envoy never returned. In response, he dispatched a slew of messengers, myself included, all on wholly distinct routes. It would appear I'm the only one who arrived safely. It's good to know my father's safe, but it's starting to sound like we have a big problem on our hands. Like as not, someone's ambushing these messengers as they pass through Blathed Lands. And this is bringing back bad memories. It's all too similar to when Count Rose's convoy was attacked. The Boar suspected Cornelia at the time. And I'm growing ever more inclined to agree with him. Yeah, sounds about right. Have you any news from the North? What of the capital and the King? Nothing at the time of my departure. I'm sorry to report. Guess there's only one way to find out then. We should head up there ourselves, Felix. The Margrave would surely send word if something were to happen at the capital. I imagine we'll have more clarity on the situation in a few days' time. We don't have a few days. You need to act, Felix. And you need to do it now. <sighs> but if we move too rashly, the Imperial forces near the fortress will grow wise to our maneuvers. As though any of that'll matter if the King winds up dead. Losing Aryan Road would be the least of our worries then. We'd be trapped in a massive war of succession and easy pickings for the Empire. <sighs> Even at a distance, that man has an uncanny talent for giving me headaches. RIP. Very well. Notify all troops stationed at the fortress and round up a team of our most elite soldiers. We're heading north. Whoa. That's a long map. And nice. I was just talking how I could just use the longer maps for grinding. I'm really proud of the race with Dimitri. And to do. And Rodrigue. Damn. Okay, I'm glad that Rodrigue is still quite a bit away. We still have Sylvain and that in and Ingrid in between them. So that's that's good. Oh god, I gotta talk to everyone, huh? 
Well, first and foremost, I'm gonna get my award. Uh. Well, how'd it go? Arrow feather, let's go. Any results? <sighs> a good result. Oh, yeah, Bernie, do you have any. Any support? Probably not. Oh, no, I'm right. She does have supports with Dimitri. Oh, yeah, never mind. I. I looked that up, right? Right, I remember. I actually remember. Wait. If these, these are just kind of funny to me. Like, you go all the way to A, but you don't have any, any supports. Actually, you kind of just. You, you you like you like the other person. You tolerate their existence, but you never talk to them. But yeah, I don't know what I want to do first. First I want to look at the kitty. Look at the kitty. It's a little kitty cat. Cute. Uh. Poor Felix. I think I'm gonna talk to everyone first and then I'm gonna see. The good thing is, I mean I have, <laughs> as you can see, um, a few supports. But I think it's, I'm only gonna like, Watch as many as I need to get a full episode, so maybe we're not even gonna watch any of these episodes, uh, this episode. Nothing left to save hollow prayers for the dead, huh? Hmm. Whatever, right now we have to prepare so the enemy doesn't catch on to what we're doing. Hey there. If you spot anyone suspicious, apprehend them immediately. I'll be keeping an eye out as well. Though I have to say, being a commanding officer is a ton of work. Guess I'm learning the hard way what he has to deal with. Indeed. Oh god, I feel so bad for like reading everyone in this like monotone, boring voice, but a moment. not that I can really help it, right? Reports say that all this is quiet in Camel all is quiet in Camelus, where the Archbishop currently resides. However, we cannot keep the lights of Sarah's stations on Ariad Road. If something is happening in Ferdinand, we must move to protect our adherents. Sure. Am I going to lose even more units now? What a rip, man. Why are you blue? I don't want you in my party. I don't like any of this. We've got no idea what's happening in the royal territory. And no insight into what the Empire is up to. If we're not careful, that could deal a serious blow to us while we're caught up fighting each other. But the situation with the war in the east is... What? You look like a pigeon caught in some wind magic. Okay. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. What are you gonna do about it? Well, right, then let's go. <laughs> Why am I here? Just to suffer? Oh, no. Why am I suddenly part of the Kingdom Army? I'm not supposed to be here. You can't force me to fight. No way, no how. I mean, you're, you're not gonna fight, it's okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you got the short end of the stick there. I guess you look like it could be uh, you could be convinced to, to join us. So What's that supposed to mean? I'm fighting for dear life up there too, you know. Like I said, it's gonna be fine, brother. You don't have to fight. I'm not even gonna use you. Hi, Catherine. To tell the truth, any attack from a string uh, from the string region is an attack on Fungus. But people in the south feel pretty removed from it all, like it's someone else's problem. But it's a matter of life and death for the houses in the north. So even if we receive suspect information, if there was the slightest possibility is true, the king would have to return to the capital. The enemy likely knew that when they set up the trap. Oof, man. Excuse me. Hi, Petra. I must be telling you. Shrank is being the kingdom's neighbor, yes? Why are they having a violent relationship? Bridget is being the Empire's neighbor, but we are having peace between us. Is Strang being too powerful for the kingdom? I don't know. Mm. Sorry, I have no idea. I don't know much about them either. What do you think? I am thinking of reasons. Maybe there's no point in demanding allegiance from the Strang. There may be an alternative. I will be thinking it over. Maybe they just suck. I don't know. I really don't get it. Answer me this. If we knew something fishy was going on, why the king and his people bother returning to the capital? Okay, sure, even the mercs, even mercs sometimes go charging into battle knowing full well they'll lose. 
But it feels like the king and those guys are just a bunch of fools. I really don't get it. Mostly politics, I guess. Hi, Ingrid. Excuse me. Can we speak a moment? I was just thinking about the Eastern Front. The fighting between the Empire and the Alliance seems to have calmed for the time being. In that case, we'll have to pay close attention to the Empire's movements. If they discover we're le we've left Arid Road and we've left Arid Road and are making our way to the capital, they will surely mount an attack straight away. We must all work together to keep the enemy in the dark. Indeed. I'm trying to remember the plot on the other side. Did did. I think Aaron Road was pretty unguarded, and that's why we kind of attacked it, right? So, did, did Dimitri also have to leave because of strength? Or am I just making this up? Got a sec? I don't know for sure, but could this be a trap? My gut's telling me something's off. Dimitri probably shouldn't have gone out there. But I guess I don't have any room to talk on that front. True. We are just pawns of the game. Actually, There has been much talk about the strength region as of late. For some reason, every time I hear it, the word sticks in my brain. And I'm repeating it so many times, the word ceases to have any meaning. Strength, strength, strength. See? There I go again. Why? Wait, why? I don't get it. You're busy. That Commander Micklin over there, I think he used to be abandoned. It's wild that a guy like that could turn over a new leaf and become a respected commander. But some folks are not too pleased about it. Some stuff happened in my past that made me turn to theory too. So in a way, his story gives me hope. I want to show folks from all over the kingdom that people can change and start anew. That's good, I guess. Still not a fan of Micklin, but eh. Hey, so I know this might sound a little tactless. But let's suppose for a moment that his majesty dies in an enemy trap. Any thoughts? Can you imagine what would happen to Fogus then? No. Uh -uh. Not really. I don't want to have to think about it either. Hear you there. I don't blame you. In the event of his death, his majesty has entrusted his affairs to Felix and Duke Ethan. But the problem is that right now, nobody else possesses the crest of Blathen. So there will be a dispute no matter who takes the throne. Unless an illegitimate child of royal blood conveniently pops up, of course. It'd be simple if we were only fighting the Empire or the West. But we'll throw a war of succession into the mix and things will get messy real quick. <sighs> That's why I want to get further yet before something truly terrible happens. I mean, you also care about Dimitri, right? Like, not just about this, right? Oh yeah, I have all... Ugh, sorry. Mm. So if one problem or another spawns in this place, it just never ends. Everyone has their own reservations about this situation as well. Isn't there something you can do to put an end to all this? You can just use magic and magic all the problems away. How about that? I don't know, Theo. Actually, I'm honestly relieved we're going to find people who aren't the Empire. I just wanted to flee the entire time we were marching towards Imperial territory. Oh. It's tough finding old friends. There were times I had to do the same thing when I was a mercenary. <sighs> you too, huh? Yes, I suppose as long as we have to keep fighting, it's just the re reality we have to accept. <laughs> I hate seeing all my units so sad. Like all my previous units. A moment of your time. I mean, I always like felt bad for like um, Ash and uh, Mercedes whenever... Um, I was doing my like an eager playthrough, but this just sucks, man. I would have thought it would be uh, impossible that the Margrave Fuller's frame Wall of Ice would let the Strike Army invade so easily. And it turns out I was exactly right, ha! <laughs> that aside, just what if the goodness's, goddess's name is happening in royal territory? I don't know, man. Mercedes. When we were fighting in Arundel territory, there was a knight in black armor among the enemy. The Death Knight. I feel as though I've heard his voice somewhere before. It sounded so familiar, maybe from a few years ago, or no, further back than that. 
Well, he does cover his face. He could be somebody in the Herbicidus. You're from the Empire, right? It's not a stretch that you could have run into him somewhere. <laughs> not everyone who was born in the Empire knows each other. If we come across him again, I would like to talk with him to know for sure. Oh. Also, I like how Yorita's mask is basically the medieval version of a voice challenger. How may I help you? The Strike Regis is on the northernmost edge of Fortland. The people are unusual folk, and we cannot even understand the tongue. There's a rocky desert in the southeast, but most of the peninsula is covered in snow. They have fought with fogs for a long time over their warmer lands. For my body, I think the kingdom's lands are cold and poor, and are the least bit worth stealing. But that's just my opinion. Maybe their lands are just worse. Hi, gatekeeper chan. Nothing to report. Phoenix Commander, nothing to report. Though actually it seems like there are some strange goings on in royal territory. I'm worried sick about the people in the capital and everyone from the church. I just want to head up there right now. But I've been charged with protecting this gate and I won't abandon my duty. Oof. I wonder if my father is safe. Look, even this inferno too. So he has to be okay, right? Ugh, my stomach is a knots. I wanna rush back to the capital, but there are an unusual number of bandits in Grain and Ennid territories. It's almost like someone's trying to stop a journey north. I wonder who it could be. I do wonder. Can I help you? If something goes awry in royal territory, her grace could be at risk as well in Camelus. All is fine there at present, but I worry nonetheless. She is in the shining light of Fortland. Goddess, please watch over her grace, the Archbishop. Ah, uh, she's fine. She can take care of herself. Hi, Ash. Um. None of the invaders breached God here territory, which means we received false information, right? And then there's the matter of Count Rose escort getting attacked. I can't quite put my finger on it. But I've got a bad feeling about all of this. I hope His Majesty and everyone else in Fernia are done safe. It's gonna be fine. Supplies are the lifeblood of my stuff. Army. I like how I can still expand the facility, even though I'm like literally done. Everything has its use. That's okay. Uh, I think we can just watch one support, I guess. Uh. Sure. Mercedes, good. I need your help. Felix, why do you have a cat? Cat? Picked it up? Yes, I can see that, but... Oh no, its little leg is hurt. Here, let me have it. I may be able to heal it with magic. There, it should be fine now. Thanks. Sorry for the trouble. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Though I must admit, you're the last person I expected to bring me an injured kitten. But he loves cats. It reminds me of how my little brother once took in a cat when we were young. Oh. Hey, that's right. You have a brother from a different father, right? Yes. This was a long time ago, when we both still lived with House Bartels. My brother took in an injured cat, and after it healed, it began living in the mansion. We did our best to feed it secretly so it wouldn't be discovered. Secretly? What's the big deal with one little furball? We couldn't let anyone find out no matter what. The people in that house were... horrid. Had they learned of the cat, they would have put it in a sack and tossed it in the river. What? How rude. Eventually, my mother and I left House Bartels and never looked back. Though we left my brother behind. Still, I've always wondered what happened to that poor little cat. Oh, poor kitty. Animals are smart enough. If the thing felt threatened, it would have taken off. I suppose you're right. Uh, anyway, now that you've fixed the cat, I should bring it back to where I found it. Are you sure? It's clearly taken a shine to you. Yeah, but I can't keep it. The thing's practically a kitten. What if it has parents that 
I don't know, miss it? Yes, I suppose returning it would be best. All right, go. Shoo! Come on, get out of here already. Stop rubbing my legs. What is it? You want food? Well, I don't have any. <laughs> ah, that cat really likes him. Animals clearly understand when a kind soul comes to their aid. Mercedes, do something. This cat <laughs> won't stop following me. God, I wish that were me. I'm sorry, but there isn't anything I can do. You'll have to wait until it feels like going home. Uh... Goodness, really? Having a cat like you is a good thing. I'm not sure it is. Well, so long as you're stuck waiting, we may as well get comfortable and have a nice chat. <laughs> that was cute. I mean, of course, I'm, I'm biased because cats are cute, but like, that was a cute conversation. And yeah, with that, we're over 30 minutes, so I feel comfortable ending the part right here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. I... I mean, I guess the parts are out yet, but I don't know. I don't, don't I haven't really received any comments towards like um whether people enjoy that format. But I mean, I think I mean I'm pretty sure I know people enjoy this format. It's not what I'm talking about, but like sometimes I feel like these parts are just talking to everyone aren't, aren't really interesting either. But like I need to have some content. Like, if I, if I only did the main missions, then I didn't have anything. Like, main missions and cutscenes. That would be bad. So you're stuck with that. So, yeah. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Nonetheless. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.